Let's assume that the machine had developed a fault so bad it was uneconomical to repair it. In fact, the only items that were retrieved was the floppy disk and the e-drive. First, we shall create a new machine called Windows XP New Drive and accept all the default settings. Now we click on settings, then on storage followed by add hard drive, then choose existing disk. We are going to connect the E drive that was connected to guest 01 to this machine. Click on backup drive. We also need the floppy disk drive adding so we clicked on add new storage controller, then add floppy disk controller. By clicking on Add Floppy, then choose Disk, we selected Windows XP Original Guest 01 Recovery Disk. Once again, we clicked on CD, then choose Virtual Optical Disk XP ISO. And to change the boot order, we clicked on System and selected Floppy. Clicking on the down arrow, move the floppy down the priority order. So to recap, we now have a new machine that has a blank hard drive in it along with an e-drive from the original guest and a 3.5 inch floppy recovery disk. Start the new machine. At the bottom of the screen several messages will appear. Once the message press F2 to run automatic recovery appears, we press the F2 key. At this point, we press the C key to continue. Most of the recovery is automatic, so we selected the default settings. At this point, Windows have gathered information about the backup and so the restoration will begin. Eventually, Windows will be restored and by navigating back to my picture, we should find our original file. This is the ultimate backup that one can do, but we must remember that it is frozen in time. Any files or apps installed after this mirror backup will not be included in the backup. Next, we shall look at alternatives.